Welcome to Dayless Class, brought to you by Alondra, Sofia, and Carmen. Today we will reflect about our driving habit and how much it cost us. Take a minute and think, where do you or does your family drive to the most often? For this exercise, think of 10 places that you visit often using a car. Examples could include school, work, grocery stores, church, or even a family member's house. Make sure that you have specific names and places or the address. Next, we will calculate the miles, gallons of gas, and the cost that it takes us to get to our destination. You will start with miles. Using Google Maps or Quest, you will put your address and your destination. I will provide you with my example. Since I am at Centro, I will use that as my starting point and use Costco as my destination. It says it takes 6.9 miles to get from my starting point to my destination. I will write this down on my chart provided and repeat the same steps for my other locations I have chosen. For the next step, we will be using fuel economy. Link will be down in the description. Do you know what type of car your family drives? If so, this will be a lot easier. You can search up the year, make, and model of your or your family's car. If you don't know your car exactly, make an educated guess on what is the closest to your car. The site also has pictures, so you can use that as reference to find your car. For my example, I will use the 2004 Ford 150. Once you find it, you will be able to see three different types of miles per gallon numbers. There is the city miles per gallon number. You may use this if you think you only travel through the city. There is also the highway miles per gallon. This is a good number to use if you tend to travel places that require the highway. Lastly, there is a combined city highway miles per gallon. This is a good number to use if you tend to travel both in the city and using a highway. And I will be using this for my example. To calculate the price per gallon, you will need to know the current gas price. At the time of this recording, Fred Meyer's gas station price was $2.53 for regular and $2.59 for diesel. Use the following equation, miles for destination over miles per gallon times the gas price. My equation looks like this, 6.9 divided by 16 times 2.53, which equals 1.09. This means it cost me $1.09 to get from Centro Cultural to Costco. So now let's see how much carbon dioxide emission, or CO2, our driving habits contribute to climate change. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency calculates burning one gallon of gas emits 19.4 pounds of CO2 into the atmosphere, and one gallon of diesel emits 22.2 pounds of CO2. Pause and reflect about your or your family's driving habits for a minute. Think about five alternative destinations and recalculate using your new destinations. There are several you cannot change, for example, a family member's home. However, think about your shopping errands. Are there closer stores that you can go to where you can get the same thing that you need? If you think the prices are more expensive, calculate the gas price to see how much it costs you to get there by car. This way you can find out if you are really saving money by going to a further destination or is it more expensive once you take gas price into consideration. Once you have chosen your five alternative destinations, use Google Maps and find the distance it takes you to get from your starting point to your new destination. Use the same miles per gallon for your car and calculate using the same price per gallon. Calculate the total using the same formula that you used before. Then find out about the amount of CO2 emission. In this lesson, you learn about the cost and contribution of your and your family driving habits. CO2 makes up a vast majority of greenhouse gas emission, and us humans are responsible for a big chunk of that. By being more mindful of our driving habits, we can make different decisions and choose closer locations that offer similar, if not the same thing that we want or need. Every little bit adds up when it comes to reducing our carbon footprint. So what are your thoughts? Let me know down in the comments. Also, let me know if you have any questions. I will be more than happy to answer them. Thank you for joining me today.